Okay, another quick bourbon hunting video. So this one isn't so much just going all over hunting for bourbon necessarily, but I did go to like three liquor stores this last weekend and two of them I was actually there to buy other stuff besides bourbon, weird. But I figured since I was in there, there are stores that I love shopping for bourbon at. I just wasn't looking for a bottle that particular day. Um, so I wanted to just show the bourbon selection while I was in there. Um, but I did pick up a couple things from another store, so I'll get to that at the end of the video. But this one's more just showing off shelves rather than, you know, a bottle haul sort of video. So anyway, getting into it, the first stop is Liquor Boy in St. Louis Park, Minnesota. Liquor Boy has got a fantastic bourbon selection. Huge, huge selection of whiskey. Um, they've got awesome prices. They're kind of one of those stores where pretty much every single thing is priced, you know, either fair or below. And then they've got this one bottle, Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit, that for some reason is 70 bucks. I'm not sure why. But on the other hand, they do have Four Roses Single Barrel for 35, which is the cheapest I see it outside of like a Sam's Club. So anyway, yeah, they've just got a great selection. They pretty much have, you know, a lot of stuff from every brand. Tons of Old Forester right there, which is awesome for me because I love Old Forester. They got the Penelope's and the 2XO up there. I didn't check and see which 2XO that was. Um, if you're a High West fan, they got a whole shelf of these huge bottles. So that's awesome. Again, they got that Four Roses Single Barrel for 35 bucks, which is a great price on that. They also have the Bullet Barrel Strength and Single Barrel, which aren't quite as popular in Minnesota. So they're not everywhere. So it's cool to see those on the shelf too. Then they got the Sazerac Rye. That's becoming more and more available as well. I know it's kind of hard to find for a while because of the Buffalo Trace thing, but yeah. So anyway, just a huge selection of bourbon. Check them out sometime. So yeah, that was Liquor Boy in St. Louis Park, Minnesota. Huge recommend on that store. Again, great prices, huge selection. Normally I do like to buy a bourbon from there, but again, I went in there to get something else. I gotta mind the bourbon budget at some point. I can't buy multiple bottles for every one of these videos because I'm trying to put these out once a week. So anyway, we're gonna move on to the next one and that is Haskell's in Maple Grove, Minnesota. So Haskell's has what I would kind of consider a, a not huge selection, but a really good selection. They've always seemed to kind of have a little bit of everything. And they've usually got some good sale prices and they're usually good for one or two bottles that are kind of weird and not available everywhere. So they have Calumets here, that's cool. The Peerless is on the shelf again, Peerless Bourbon. That was really rare for a while, but I'm seeing that all over the place now. A decent little selection of the barrel products here. Um, this Clyde Mays 110 proof, let me know in the comments if, you're, if you've had that. I'm kind of interested in that. Also the Knob Creek single barrel and the Jim Beam single barrel, that's awesome to see those on the shelf. And then there's these Hooten Youngs, and these are another one that I'm interested in, but I don't know much about them. I kind of feel like they're just kind of like a light whiskey, but again, in the comments, let me know. But where Haskell's really, really is awesome is the store picks. And they've got a whole section full of store picks here. And they've usually got really, really good ones. So they got this Maker's Mark Private Select, the 10 Mocha Stave one. That's awesome. I thought those were totally gone, but apparently they still have them. So yeah, just a bunch of, a bunch of good stuff here to choose from if you're into the single barrel thing. And then here's another section showing off some single barrels that they have too, some other brands, so good stuff. So that was Haskell's in Maple Grove. Again, great single barrel selection. So if you're into that, I would totally recommend going to any of the Haskell's actually. That was just the one I happened to be in, but there's a few different locations around the Twin Cities Metro. Um, I did actually end up stopping into a Total Wine. I didn't get any uh, footage of that, but I did pick something up there and I did get, bam, this is a mini bottle actually of Johnny Walker Blue Label. And so I've kind of always wanted to try this and you know it's obviously 230 bucks a bottle you should pay like 30 bucks for a pour of this at a bar i paid 20 bucks for this mini bottle which yeah it's kind of ridiculous for a mini bottle but i've always wanted to kind of see what the hype was all about and uh yeah we just greg and i have never had it before i thought it'd be kind of fun to do a scotch so anyway the next one coming up is the liquor store that i probably shop at most for my just regular stuff it's about 15 miles from my house this is cash wise in saint michael minnesota So this is kind of my regular liquor store, as I said. 
Um, they don't have the hugest bourbon aisle, but it's, I mean, they've got enough stuff. It's, it's kind of like another one of those. It's sort of a little bit of everything. Uh, they've always got good sales going on. There's always something on clearance, which I think is pretty awesome. But yeah, they've got a basic selection. Uh, they've got a couple of great store picks as well, too. These guys work in conjunction with Coburn's. So Cashwise and Coburn's are part of the same company. So $49.99 for a Knob Creek store pick. That's amazing. Got the Peerless showing up again, which is awesome. And then $28.99 for a home wrecker of E-Dub Bottle and Bond. I mean, you can't beat that, right? Yeah, they got some good sales going on, um, some fairly cheap stuff. You know, if you're looking for a good go-to bottle, they usually have some of those classic bourbons on sale, which is awesome. They got the uh, $59.98. Maker store pick, that's a great price. But if you're more in the high rye, they got your Four Roses shelf. Four Roses small batch selects are on the shelf everywhere now, it's awesome. And then this Alberta Premium, I gotta get a bottle of that, that's good stuff. High proof rye, and then they got a killer store pick of uh, Savage and Cook's Burning Chair. Okay, so that does it for the couple stores that I stopped at this past weekend. Um, I did leave cash wise with something. I did grab, bam, the home wrecker of Evan Williams Bottled and Bond. $28.99, I mean, you can't go wrong with that, right? So this is a great one to just have. Um, I like to actually sip this neat, but it's great for a cocktail too, especially at the price, even when it's not on sale. It's so cheap and with the warm weather coming up, whiskey cocktails with ice, this is just a fantastic mixer because you got the 100 proof, so it stands up to the ice, but also, you know, it's cheap, but it tastes good. So anyway, had to leave with that one, but that'll do it for now. Again, like I said earlier in the video, I'm gonna try putting these out once every week, two weeks, because I do tend to stop in a lot of stores randomly. So even if I'm not buying anything, I'll still gladly take some video of the shelves and kind of let you guys know what's out there. And so yeah, if you're in the uh, West Metro area, I would recommend all three of these stores. Cheers.